Well, tonight, the oldest theater in Oklahoma, in Carnegie, is back open. It's been shut down for 18 months. It was closed because of COVID. And it's what's good for Oklahoma. Four. <laughs> the Liberty Theater first opened in 1915. That's 13 years before sound was even in the movies. And over the years, as the film industry has evolved, so has the theater. This is the lobby of the original theater. That's the way they used to dress. Those are ushers. Jerry Applewhite bought the single screen theater from the original owners in 1974, expanding it in 95, adding two more screens. It used to be advertised as the longest continuously running theater. It had never shut down before COVID. Applewhite had to shut the doors in March of last year, taking a huge financial blow. First month that I was closed down, I lost 80,000. The second month, I lost about 40,000. And from then on, it was in the 15 to 20,000 per month range. In a town of under 2,000, news of the theater closing did not sit well with people, according to Miss Carnegie, Kemmerie Hodges. Everybody was upset. I do know that. And several weeks into uh, the theater being closed, you know, it was COVID, but people were understanding about it, but they were also kind of hangry, I would say, um, about not having the show dogs. What is so special about these show dogs? The chili. Yep, secret recipe. We use only the best ingredients, uh, all beef wieners, and we steam them, and they're good. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. It didn't take long for word to get around. The theater was reopening. A few dozen people waited outside in the cold this morning to be first in line to get a show dog and catch one of the early morning showings. Definitely excited. It gives us something to do. Um, and having this theater so long here in Carnegie, uh, people come from all over just to come here. Applewhite says reopening hasn't been an easy task, costing him even more to fix things like air conditioning units that wouldn't work after being shut down for so long. But he says through it all, he's grateful for all the support from the community. People feel like this theater is theirs. They come feeling like they own the theater. So they, they love it. Everybody that seems like everybody that comes thinks it's the best theater they've been to. And he says that uh, on average weekend before the shutdown, they would sell about 2,000 of those show dogs every weekend. Those look good. I can't get past those hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, those I'm good. just saying.